Hi there, Aries, Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your June 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So, June is actually a month with a lot of retrograde going on. So, a lot of people might be expecting that this is a month wherein there's a lot of chaos and a lot of, you know, shutting down. Um, but, um, there is definitely going to be a lot of reflection that's going to be transpiring for us not only for you know aries people but for a lot of people as well in general because we do have venus mercury jupiter pluto and saturn all in retrograde motion and mercury is definitely going to be following through the retrograde motion at the mid of june so you know there's a lot of things that we might be going through and it's happening all in a very internal level all at the same time and when retrograde occurs not only with our own personal life is being triggered but our relationships all at the same time with the how we communicate with people and how we relate with people all the same so again this is your reading for those in the sign of aries sun moon and rising sign please do know that this is a general reading so it may or may not necessarily tuning in for the rest of all aries out there so it also applies whether you're a male or a female aries so just keep that in mind as you go along so for the first card of a reading we do have the four of pentacles crossing over the full card and this is more of a situation we're in maybe um a lot of aries out there are at a point of confusion like they don't really know what to do with their life what to do um what do they really want all they really want right now is to find enjoyment to find to find some form of harmonious connection with people whether they are single in a relationship or in, ma in a marriage setup there could be you know a lot of things that you have been hesitating and hiding within yourself but all at the same time there is that inner feeling within you that you just want to have fun you just want to enjoy life and it it is that feeling wherein you want to move forward in life but there's just a lot of things that is trying to get in the way in you moving forward and this has a lot to do with the retrograde energy you know we we all know that the retrograde motions um creates a scenario for us to hold back into things and aries is the sign of forward movement it's like you know taking action this is what i want i want to take action on certain things so it may be a frustrating time for you especially recently you know you could be you know feeling bored or there is an energy wherein you just feel that you know you are not able to take on the opportunities that you might have um you felt that you could have gotten those kinds of things and if you notice we do have the three of swords over here at the top of the reading which means that there could be some form of disappointment there could be some form of pain that is being triggered to to all of this so this could be a breakup or you know something not so good happening in disguise um, this could be something that you have already felt recently or maybe something within the month of june can give you a feeling of disappointing like you know you wanted to move forward or maybe you are deciding that you wanted to do something to pursue something or someone and then suddenly you you are having a cold feet kind of thing you know you wanted to go back there's something that you want to regress upon you know because you know we have the coffin card over here and the demise card so there is a sense of loss here so maybe you are confused you are lost all at the same time but all in all you know this is all what's happening in the moment in the present scenario so again i will repeat this is something that you can feel within the month of june and it could be something that you have already felt um, even before june to be honest so it's like you know one part of a situation one part of 
of your own desire but at the same time you also don't know so there could be a lot of confusing energy going on around you at this time it's like i don't know what i want but i want to feel happy i don't know what i want but i want to be in a relationship i don't really know if i should go into a relationship at this time but i want to feel good there are those kinds of energies and things um, it's showing us in the past that there are certain opportunities that have come into your life and you may not know if you should be pushing through with that or not but it does tell us here that slowly bit by bit there are communications that are opening up for you one way or another this can also apply to workplace you know your career endeavors all at the same time but i kind of feel that this has a lot more to do with your own personal life and you know with the matters of the heart what makes you feel emotionally secured and what makes you feel happy as a whole all at the same time so with the the future position we do have the temperance card over here so there is something that is becoming uh reharmonizing or rebalancing of a relationship or a situation that is coming forth towards you all at the same time so this could be a situation that can give you hope or a situation of a very very healing energy that can make you have a re like something is being refreshed in your life something is being restarted especially if you've if you've gone through a breakup or you have broken up with someone or something did not work out the way that you wanted to it could be a refreshing energy wherein maybe some form of uh, healing can happen a cleansing can happen or some form of emotional understanding is coming forth in your life you know in terms of your love life and relationships we do see here that you know there is a willingness to work hard into something trying to sort things out and trying to correct misunderstandings and communications can definitely occur we do have the two of cups coming over here so if you have been having troubles when it comes to communication with your partner this could be the time wherein you know um this could be the time to really talk to that person and to really uh, maybe have some form of forward movement forward communication with that person i'm not i am assuming because of the retrograde energy that we really cannot expect any developments in terms of a relationship um, but this is the right time for us to really be able to know more about the person or to know what is going on if there is something wrong in the situation and in the relationship so that we will have a more clearer eye we will be able to understand more the situation and what we are going through what the other person is going through and we will be able to know what we really want in the process so even though it feels as if we're not moving forward there is an energy wherein it makes us also feel that we are actually moving forward with all of this you know there is a progress in this situation of all retrograde happening in the sky we do have here the eight of cups over here so you know um this could be a time wherein you know you know like i said there could be someone changing their mind you know someone held, holding back there could be a temporary influx of your emotions you know especially if you have been doing a lot of impulsive decisions wherein you suddenly enter a relationship or you suddenly um try to you try to tell yourself that you want to be with someone <laughs> that kind of feeling and energy or maybe something some form of decision making in your relationship at this time maybe you have made plans made changes all those kinds of things you might suddenly you know uh, come to a point where in maybe you need to think about certain things and this could be the time wherein you will be able to see clearly what you really want you know and to rebalance things if this is the right path for you to take so you can say that the month of june is like m making you uh, preparing you to what is about to happen for the month of july because you know it is where the month of june where y you get really a clear idea of what you really want 
because the month of July is going to make you push forward and taking action. You know,、uh, this could be the time we're in. Okay, this it's all about gathering information during this time. This is the month wherein you you need to gather information so that you know what decision it is to make. Because by the month of July, everything is just going to zoom in forward, and you know, there is no time for you to hesitate because it's a very action-oriented month, basically. So we do have the outcome card here of the Ten of Wands. Ah,、uh, no, this is the Nine of Wands, and the Nine of Wands is that is that card of hesitation. So this could be a time of hesitation.、Um, Making you wanting to pause, making you want to rest, making you, you know, suddenly not be so impulsive all at the same time, and it's like putting your guard up. And there's really nothing wrong with that. Sometimes it's actually very helpful. And for the most part, this is also the card of waiting. So there could be, you know, this is the time for you. To be more patient and be more, you know,、um, to persevere. If you are having some form of challenge in your relationships, because this is the time where it, you know,、um, a lot of things can really be shown to you. Things that you may be aware, maybe you're not aware. Things you have not seen before can actually show up for you. And this is a time where and you need to make a decision, or at the very least, it is for life is forcing you to make a decision if this is the right path for you or not. But definitely,、um, matters of the heart. And your relationships is going to be very important at this time. It's not going to be a time of 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 games and just enjoying life, you are taking something with、um, real consideration and seriousness as a whole, and also because of this three of cards over here at the top of the reading, I kind of feel that maybe if there are mistakes that you have done before, you don't want to do them, you don't want to repeat them all at the same time, because some of you guys may also be quite pessimistic. With how they deal with their relationships, especially if you are dealing with a past lover, past relationship, that kind of thing, because with all of the retrogrades happening in the skies right now, our minds are all going back to the past. We are remi- we are being reminded of the past. We are thinking of the past, that kind of thing. That is really the the common scenario happening right now. So many many of you guys are very confused. And at the point of crossroads, at the point of you know making a decision for something, and but once you make a decision, it's going to be all out. You know you're going you're going to make a decision that is going to stay there with you for the long run. So please be mindful with how you talk to people, with how you communicate, and be more observant with how you talk.、Uh, With all communications, you know whether it's a snail mail or email, something in the social media. Take a look out on things because there are communications out there, there are messages out there that can actually, you know, give you insight into things or give you answers that、um, maybe you are looking for. That kind of situation, you know, if, especially if you're looking for signs. All at the same time, you know, I kind of feel that. Uh, whatever happens for you for the month of June is going to be very important because you know the eclipse is going to be transpiring into your ninth house, so it has a lot to do with your long term goals at the same time and Gemini's in your th- communication sector, so you know、um, you might be making plans for the future in a very Stable ground, something that's for the long haul. So take this time to really consider things, especially for those of you who are, you know, having relationships issues. If you are single, maybe this is the time where and you're thinking of wanting to be in a relationship, but it's like you want to be in a relationship, but you don't want to jump in there just yet. 
as you know you need to take some time to let the retrograde energy pass and go into the relationship and i kind of feel that that relationship will be more blessed than ever that kind of feeling and energy all at the same time but overall though this is a mu an opportunity for you to really heal from a lot of wounds from the past and and a chance for you to restart things and a chance for you to rediscover what your true heart and true emotions is telling you in terms of your love life and relationships so um yeah this is my reading for you guys aries and thank you for watching and tuning in with me if you do like to book a session with me just go to my website in the stars by chrissy.com and i shall see you guys again next month bye